boy, what is the path back to the witch? First, we need to find a boat. Atreus, follow me. Do you remember the way back to the witch from here? That way, behind the big statue of Thor. I wish we could have gone on a trip like this with Mother. She could fight, couldn't she? Yes, she fought beautifully. Here? Huh? The water dropped. And the serpent rose. Right. I knew that. She's really powerful, but you really think the witch can bring a head back to life? She seems competent in her craft, and we have nothing to lose. If she can't bring it back to life, can we keep the head? No, but you may feed it to the fish. Okay. Hey, this does more than decipher those Muspelheim runes. It also contains the travel room. Should we go visit the fire room?
Turn back AC. Guess the guys aren't welcome here. <gasps> there he is! I hope he remembers us. How's it going, Charlie? Is there a witch friend here? What is that name? That's what he told me it was. That's what it sounded like in my head anyway. Charlie. Focus up, boy. She is here. It's so good to see you again. I knew you weren't dead. <laughs> Hello. Oh, can you bring a head back to life? Uh, I'm not sure I understand what... Wait. Where did you get those? The arrows. Give them to me. Now. They were a gift. Do as she says, boy. These arrows are dangerous and wicked. You find any more, you destroy them, understand? Do you understand? Say it! I understand. If I see them, I'll destroy them. It's all I ask. Forgive me. Please, take my arrows in their place. I have no need for them anymore. What's this about a head? <sighs> Do you have any idea who this is? Did you kill him? At his request. He claimed you could revive him. Me? Are you sure you heard him right? Please? <sighs> Take him to the table. Pamela! It's been a long time since I've practiced the old magic. Hold him there. Let's have a look. Well, thankfully his head hasn't decayed much and his brain is still intact. <sighs> nice clean cut. Cutting off his head of all people. I sure hope you know what you're doing. Now, hold his head under the water and don't let go. I mean it. That's enough. It works! Let me see him. Mamir? You there? Yes. Good. Oh. Hello, Freya. Been a long time. You look well. What I did, I did for them. As far as I'm concerned, death suits you better. I'd bow if I could, Your Majesty. Forgive me. Had I known the Witch in the Woods was Freya herself, I never would have suggested this. Freya? The goddess Freya? You didn't know either? Sorry. When word gets out that Mimir is free, the wrath of Odin won't be far behind. You are God. Leader of the Vanir, once yes, but no longer. You did not think it important to tell me. Are you really going to lecture me about that? We are leaving, boy. But... Now. You're welcome. Why 
How'd you do that? We cannot trust her. Because she's a god? Have I taught you nothing, boy? But she's helped us a lot. She lied. Some people value their privacy. Best not to judge. I will ask. Fair enough. Get me to Tyr's temple in the Lake of the Nine, and I'll get you to Jotunheim as promised. We know the temple. What's there? Only the last living giant in Midgard. Better to tell us the way. The World Serpent? Wait, do you know how to talk to him? Indeed. He speaks an obscure tongue more ancient even than these mountains. None are left in Midgard who speak it. Except, of course, for me. Who do? That's true. You wouldn't know it to look at him, but Jormungandr is a sparkling conversationalist. In your face. No. Speak of Balder. He claims nothing harms him. Aye. Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. Boasting of a god. Everyone has a weakness. Not him, I'm afraid. Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. You just said that, Mimir. Did I? What is the source of this power? Well, as I recall, it involved, uh, a spell? Mamir? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. I hope he's not broken. Hey, how do we speak to the serpent? There's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. Finally! That horn! I put my lips to the horn. That statue made in honor of Thor, and seen as the world serpent absolutely abhors the fat dauber. He was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. So I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is Jotunheim. All right, wish me luck. Uh, Members me. Why you? Oh, no, that's not right. Eh. Mokuno Huntunkun. Aho. Eh. Echo no Tunno Funno. the pain of your loss. He will help you. Ethniun <laughs> 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 
direction. Listen closely now. We need two things to get us into the land of the giants. First, we need to learn the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. Is that one of the people we first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is. And it's not far. He looks kind of mad for a moment. Now that, you thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me. I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Wait, look! The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. Hang on to me. So when we get to the boat, we can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. Going towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. The mirror. You never did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not only without reason. Enough. No stories. Not while on foot. Our focus is the road. Completely understand. I'll finish later, lad. Ah, good. The special chisel is ahead past this gate. Prepare yourself! Oh! <laughs> 
This chisel we seek. What is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. Ahem. There was a giant once named Thamu. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamur hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Hrimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, bonk, struck his son. Hrimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Thamur chased after his son but in his emotional state, soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night, so far from home. Thor. And? What happened next? You'll see. Thor killed him. Oh no. He fell in the village? Aye. When Thamur fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. The truth is, the sweaty claw bag just got lucky. A wolver! A dangerous beast. We will take him down together. Very giant chisel. That big crystal on the giant's ring looks promising. <laughs> Darn, that didn't seem to do anything. His idea. What happened to the survivors? Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything. That chisel. That's the magic we need. Hostiles up ahead.
Atreus, to me. Coming. was difficult. How are we getting down there? I have a plan. You do? Do not act so surprised. Oh, no offense, brother. But I don't even think Thor with Mjolnir in hand could get through that much ice. Then Thor is a fool. This should be entertaining. Boy. Right.
Wow, that was uh, something, that uh, fight. Here, catch. Well, that was a waste of a perfectly good hour. How were you not seen? There is nowhere here to hide. Oh, that. It's a little trick my people can pull. A special way of not being seen. You can be invisible? More like I can step into the realm between realms. And your mind doesn't understand what it's seeing, so... It sees nothing at all. That's how we avoid ever having to actually use the weapons we craft. It, uh... It doesn't seem to work on dragons, though. <laughs> your brother wanted to know if you're getting enough to eat. I guess I could tell him you are. Brock was asking about me? Was there meat on his breath? <laughs> You let him touch this again. Come on, then. So that's how Brock was in the temple right after the water drop. He stepped between realms. Okay, now, shush. I need complete silence for this. There you go. What can I... Have you made it out of Fafnir's storeroom yet? Plan of yours. Can you guess it? Knowing you, it doesn't involve standing around here. Correct. But how do we move forward? Boy, Farmer really liked jewelry, didn't he? Even braided his beard with it. I happen to think he looks dashing. You know, for a snow covered corpse. No! into that building? Yes. You think there's something inside that'll help us break the ice and get to the chisel tip? No. Mm. I'll keep thinking. You're on a diplomatic mission once, trying to broker a peace between Asgard and Vanaheim. That war. So many lives lost. What I didn't know was Thor had already gone on a killing spree of giants. What do the giants have to do with the war between the gods? Nothing at all, lad. That's the tragedy of it. They took no side in that madness. But Odin's paranoia is surpassed only by Thor's lust for blood.
Another crystal. Huh. What now? Stealthy plan it is not. Now we must free the other strap. Why are we going up when what we need is all the way down there? Think. Well, the chisel tip is under thick layers of ice, so melting it won't work. Correct. No option. Correct. That just leaves smashing the ice. We need something ridiculously heavy to... Oh, I get it now. Good. Turn the hammer so it lands near the chisel tip. Not possible. We cut it free, write it down, and figure out what comes next after. So your plan involves a whole bunch of luck, then? You are welcome to suggest a different one. Oh no! The floor collapsed. There's a sand bowl, but how do we get to it? We cannot. Boy, 